Why? Because you will not listen to the word of God. The word of God is out here. And Bring the it out! Reject it. Give me Proverbs 1. Bring it out! Bring it out! You're going to find out. The same way you're making fun of the most High God's word, he's going to laugh at you too. Right. What's going to happen if you will not listen to the most High word of to the most High God's word? Because you think you're better. You think you have it. You think your job is, is, is secure. Read that. The book of Proverbs, Eating chapter you. 1 and verse 20. Wisdom, words without. Wisdom, the Bible says wisdom. Where do you find wisdom? Wisdom is found in God's word. That's oh. right. That's where you find wisdom. Wisdom cried without wind. She uttered her voice in the streets. So she's crying in the streets, just like we are in the streets today, crying to you so-called blacks, telling you, trying to tell you how great you are. That's, That's right. right. You're rejecting it, read. She crying in the chief place of concourse. Isn't that the chief place of concourse where everybody's at? Everybody's walking around, taking the bus out to go to work. Are you not at the chief place of concourse, we? In the opening of the gates. Right, we? In the city, she utters her word. And where? In the city. And where? In the city. We are in the city of Federal Way. Bring it out. That's where we at, crying to you so-called blacks, to you Hispanics, to you natives, that you are God chosen people. That's right. You are special people to the most high God. But because you have a job, you rejecting God's words. Not knowing the most high God gave you that job. We bring it out. Peace. In the open, in the city, she utters her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones? The Bible says, How long, you simple ones? How long, you dumb ones? We will ye love simplicity? How long you gonna doubt superiority? How long you gonna love this thing? How long you gonna feel like you greater than the most high God who created you? How long you so-called black, you so-called Hispanic, uh, Native American men and women, how long would you do that? How long you gonna reject God's word, read? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And guess what, you laugh at us. We dumb, we men dressing in purple. We are a bunch of dumb men who don't have anything better to do. That's why we are here teaching you God's words. Bring it out! That's what you say in your heart. That's what you say in your mind. Bring because you don't out. understand the destruction that's coming to this place. That's right! right. And fools hate knowledge! What does the Bible call you so-called black Hispanic and Native American who's rejecting God's word? And fools! And what? And fools! God call you a fool because Wisdom is crying out for you to get wise. Only a foolish man or women will reject that. Right. Read. And fools hate knowledge. And you hate knowledge. Give me knowledge. Give me uh, uh, my guy to a seven. Read up. Let's see what the knowledge that you, you reject, the knowledge that you hate as God chosen people. Bring it you up. You call yourself African American. Where is that in the Bible? When did God call you African American? Teach us! Where and when? Read. Malachi chapter 2, <laughs> verse 7. Read out. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Your pastor's lips should have been teaching you this knowledge of the Bible. Your pastor's lips should have been teaching you how great you are to the most high God. Right. That's the job of your priest that's in your churches. Read. Right. And they should seek the law at his mouth. And they should do what? And they should seek the law at his mouth. Your pastors should have been teaching you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that you are God's chosen people. That's right. right. Read. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Because your pastor's supposed to be the messenger of the Lord of God, the Lord of hosts. But guess what? He's rejecting the truth. He's rejecting the destruction that's coming. Give me um, Jeremiah 23. Jeremiah 23 and 1. We're going to find out a little bit more about your pastors. Because we are here to tell you how great you are. How great of a people that you are to the most high God. That's right. You're not African American. Right. You're not black. You're not a color of your of the crayon box. Right. You are God chosen people. That's right. right. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, and verse 1. Uh -huh. Woe! 
be unto the pastors. God said destruction unto your pastors, destruction unto your priests, destruction unto your ministers, destruction unto your so-called prophets. Why? We. To destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Your pastors destroy and scatter the sheep of God. Who are the sheep of God? How are you destroyed? Because he's not teaching you who you are. Why are you calling yourself African American? Read. Saith the Lord. Uh huh. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Thus saith the Lord God of who? Of Israel. And we are telling you, that one said God is only for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American. Whoa. You are the children of Israel. Whoa. That's the whole point of us being out here. Teach. Against the pastors that feed my people. Against who? Against the pastors that feed my people. Against the pastors that's feeding God's people. You so-called blacks. Against those pastors that's preaching on um, feeding God's people. Read. He has scattered my flock. You are, you are being scattered by your, by your pastors because your pastors said you could come to God as you are. That's not a scripture in the Bible. Whoa. The pastor says you should be um, dressing immodestly. That's not in the Bible. But you can keep reading. And driven them away. And you are driven away from the most high God. As God chosen people, you are driven away. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. You know who you are according to the Bible? Do you have a second? Just one second. I'm going to show you two scriptures, then you can go about your way, sir. I know you got work to do. You look like you're going to work right now. I don't want to take you away from your job. But what we are here, to just come over here, right in front of the sign right here. What you're going to see on the sign is what God, the, the name that God called us, right, as a people. And yeah. the name that our slave masters, our oppressors, during the time of the, where, where are you from, if I may ask? California. California. Where's your for, your parent, your uh, family from? California. They're, my great my grand, great grandparents are from Mexico. They're all from Mexico, right? Yeah. But if, do you know any history of Mexico? Uh, not really. So the Mexicans, the Mayans, the Mayans, right? yeah. Before they were called uh, Mexicans or even Mayans, what did God call them? I have no idea. You don't know, right? So if you look at the down in the Aztecs also. So if you look at, at the bottom, you will see that um, Mexico is called what? Right at the bottom. All the way at the bottom. It says Mexico right next to it. See? See that? It says it says Iscar. Iscar at the bottom, right? That's okay. the name that God gives you as That's a people. Right. Do you when you open the Bible, you will not find Mexican in the Bible. Yeah. You will not find Hispanic in the Bible. Gee. What did God call you? What name did he call you? You are, you are, sorry, you are Esekar from the, from the nation of Israel. These are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So when you open the Bible and you're reading about Esekar, you're reading of your forefathers. You're reading of how great of a people you are. Let's see how about the nation of Israel that you are from. Um, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We're going to find out. God have a different way of, 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 how he talked to his people. But what's been happening is that the churches that we go to, the pastors, they don't have the understanding of the Bible. Why? Because they don't, they don't have the fear of God. Right. right. So read that real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. out. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Mind you, God is talking to the children of Israel. It says you are a holy people. A holy people means you are set apart. You are separate people, right? Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. God chose you. What's your name, sir? Nick. Nick. God chose you, Nick, from the tribe of Issachar, read. To be a special people. To be a special people. Nick, if I may ask you, are, are we all created equal? Yeah. That's what we know. That's what we've been taught, right? Yeah. Let's see what the Bible says. Because it's one thing that the, the society give us an understanding of what how we're supposed to deal, right? But let's see how God himself, what he said about his people. Because if we create an equal, that means God should feel the same way, right? Yeah. Let's see if that God feels. 
And mind you, this is the same Bible you have at your house. We're not making this up, yes. and we didn't write it. All right, read that. To be a special people unto himself. So the Israelites are a special people unto God himself. Read. That's right. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. But hold up, Nick. You just said we all equal. Yeah. But God said there's a group of people in here above. that's above, above everybody. Oh, that's so that's the right. Of we all created equal. That's that's not of God. Yeah. Right. It's of this nation. Get, hold that. Give me Colossians 2 and 8. Freak it you know, I'm going to show you why you say that. It's not your fault. I used to say that too. Yeah. Right. I used to fight for that thing. Equality for every man. Yeah. But what God says about who I am. What did God say about you? How, how good of a people you are? Colossians 2 and 8. Bring it out. So what, you, what we're going to learn is the, the understanding of the Bible that we have it's not of God. When you open the Bible and read it for yourself, you're gonna realize that, hold up, the pastor said one thing and the Bible saying the opposite. Right! Got it? 20. The, 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 the pastor says, you are equal to everybody. Everybody is welcome to, and Jesus, right? But the Bible said completely different. Right. The reason why we don't know is because we don't read the Bible ourselves. Teach! Read that. The book of Colossians, chapter two, Verse 8. Uh -huh. Bring it out. Beware, lest any man spoil you from philosophy. So the Bible says, be aware, pay close attention, be in a high alert, lest any man spoil you to what? Through philosophy. Philosophy. And the things. philosophy of everybody's created equal. That's of the, your slaves. The same slave master who said that in the Declaration of Independence. Right. Guess what? We still were slaves in, in, in their society. While they were reading this word in, in, with ink, at the same time they had so-called blacks in slavery. They had them picking their cottons while they were writing these words. Right. But today, we take it as gold, not having no understanding of the history of our people. The, so the, uh, in the 1960s, the, the Mexican couldn't go in the, in the white establishment uh, uh, restaurants to eat. Yeah. Read out. We suffer the same uh, uh, atrocities that under the same uh, we are under the same curses. Because we, now we just accepting it because we don't know any better, right? We do. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Through philosophy and vain deceit and vain deceit, deceitful uh, words and vain deceit. We, we after the traditions of men. After the traditions of men. Men made that thing up. We all created evil. Uh, Men made that up. What did God say? Go through back to Romans 7 and 6. What did home. God say about you so-called Hispanics? What did God say about you so-called blacks? What did God say about you so-called Native American men? Bring it out. You to the most high God. How are you created equal, but you're at the bottom of society? That's right. How? Right now, Mexican children are still be being taken from the borders Bring and put them in concentration camps. That's how right. oh, you create an equal. This is why we have to come out here and teach to our people. That's this right. is the passion that we have for our people. That's right. Because right. they don't understand it. They don't understand why we're mad. Because our people are being oppressed and they're talking that they, they're saying these things not having no idea who they are to the most high God. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.